If I were to tell you to imagine what the Earth's magnetic field looks like, you could probably do that pretty easily. It's basically just a giant bar magnet whose strength varies over time. But what does it sound like? If you have headphones, I suggest putting them in now as I play you the sounds of the Earth's magnetic activity. <laughs> Now obviously we don't actually hear this music coming from the Earth's magnetic field, or we definitely would have noticed it by now. Instead, this music represents a relatively new, fascinating area of research called sonification. This is the process of turning data into sound. And that short clip you heard earlier was created using this process by composer Charles Dodge in 1970. Essentially, he mapped magnetic data to musical sounds where the pitch of every note, the tempo, and rhythm all represent some aspect of the data. And this has been done for countless other things as well, like representing how the stock market activity has changed over the course of many decades, and even detecting cervical cancer. And if the sonification is done well, it may May help researchers discover something that they might have otherwise overlooked. See, the human ear is amazing at its job. You can detect frequencies ranging from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, and the loudest sound you can hear is over a trillion times louder than the softest sound you can hear. And even more, the ear is so freaking good at its job that you can detect sounds even if they only last fractions of a second. So because of all this, it makes sense that sound might actually be a really great way for researchers to find patterns or not anomalies in their data. But sonification has another amazing application as well. It can help teach visually impaired students how to see lots of data using sound instead of touch. In fact, NASA has a tool that does just that, producing sounds based on different mathematical functions and data files. I'm about to show you a video of a sine wave made from that tool. And listen closely to the audio. As the point on the graph moves from left to right, so does the sound in your ear. And as the point crosses the y-axis, you'll hear a little ding. Isn't that awesome? This tool works for a bunch of different functions as well, and it might just be the next great way to teach math to anyone who's visually impaired. So what do you guys think of sonification, and what type of data or graph would you like to hear the sound of? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button, and check out my last video all about gluten.